Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the plant cell. Plant cell, uh, the different parts or different components which are present in the plant cell and the function of each part. So let me show you this uh, the picture of the plant cell and then we will discuss each and every part there. So students, before I explain you each and every part of the cell, uh, let me clarify one point here that uh, how the question comes in your exam regarding this particular topic. So the examiner can ask a question so as to uh, label the diagram, right? Or it can uh, just mention the particular organelle and they can ask you for the, uh, the function of it. Fine. So question can come in any way over there. So I'm just going to tell you each and every part, just to briefly summarize the, in a very summarized manner, I will give you the function of each part. Fine. So the very first uh, structure here labeled here, here is as the chloroplast. Uh, you can see if the even the chloroplast is not there, let us see, the, uh, just if you hide it out and you see these small oval green shaped structures, then you can label it as the chloroplast. But definitely, if it is not green in color, you are supposed to label it as a plastid. Now, here you must differentiate between the mitochondria and the chloroplast. Because even mitochondria is uh, having oval structure, isn't it? So, accordingly, you have to label the diagram. What is the function of chloroplast? It is a plastid which is containing the green color pigment that is chlorophyll. Right. So the most important function of chloroplast is to uh, perform the process of photosynthesis. Uh, another point or the another part labeled here is the cell wall. So you must be aware of this point that uh, in the plant cell, uh, plasma membrane is covered by another covering. And that another covering is known as the cell wall. It is a dead membrane which is made up of cellulose. Right, uh, it is uh, very thick, quite thick in nature, and is dead. So basically, the cell wall in plant cells is be, uh, required so as to maintain the uh, structural integrity of the cell. It provides the uh, rigidity into the cell as well as it helps in maintaining the structure. Fine. Besides that, be, uh, below this uh, membrane or below this cover, the another membrane is present, which is known as the cell membrane. You can see it is highlighted here. So this uh, uh, inner membrane which is present here, that is known as the cell membrane. Uh, for the, <coughs> you know the function of cell membrane? You uh, see, even if you label it as plasma membrane, you can label it either cell membrane or plasma membrane. Both answers are correct. Fine. So uh, don't get confused. Uh, and the function of the cell membrane is to maintain the flow of material. The most important function of the cell membrane is to maintain the uh, transport of materials, selective transport of materials in and out of the cell. Right. And when this flow of material is maintained, definitely almost all of the functions of the cell are going to be maintained. Fine. Uh, besides this, it is uh, uh, serving as a protective unit. It is serving as a barrier between the inner and the outer environment of the cell. Next part uh, labeled here, it is shown here these stacks like uh, uh, these uh, tubular uh, units which are arranged in the form of stacks. Right. And in nearby, they are having some round bodies also. You can see this in the diagram. Uh, this uh, structure is a Golgi body. And uh, the easy way to identify it is that it is present near the uh, nucleus. Fine. Uh, the function of Golgi body is to uh, modify the material which is uh, uh, which has been synthesized by the endoplasmic reticulum. Besides that, it is a unit which is, is storing the components of this uh, <coughs> uh, endoplasmic reticulum as well as it helps in the packaging and transport of uh, these molecules to the target site. Fine. Next part is the plastids. Uh, <coughs> see, these particular units, you can label them as the leucoplast also or simply the plastids. Fine. What are these plastids? These are again the oval structures or these are uh, oval or the spherical units. Fine. Which can be colored or which can be uh, colorless. So, if it appears to be colorless or something as it is appearing in this diagram, it is better to label it as the plastid. Fine. Uh, now, plastids, the 
colored plastids are the chromoplast and the uh, uh, transparent or the white plastids or the colorless plastids are known as the leucoplast and each is having its own function like for example uh, chromoplast they help in the uh, process of photosynthesis as we have discussed about the chloroplast besides that they can serve as the uh, units <coughs> which can uh, uh, help in the process of pollination you know why because they impart color to the particular part of the uh, organ a, a particular organ or the particular organ of the plant right since they are having the colored pigments on the other hand leucoplast that is the colorless plastids they are meant for the storage of different uh, materials which are synthesized by the plant cell fine further you can see these pits on the uh, cell wall or on the outer boundary of the cell right so these pits are known as the plasmodesmata fine uh, the uh, chloro uh, i'm sorry the cell wall they are having the pits in between and these are the plasmodesmata and they help in the communication between the uh, subsequent cells fine they forms the bridges between the uh, uh, the adjacent cells and thus they help in the uh, transfer of material from one cell to the another so th basically they help in the communication process fine uh the next thing is labeled here is the central vacuole it is very easy to identify uh, the large <coughs> vacuole like or spherical or uh, uh, somewhat uh, turgid structure present in the cell is the central vacuole it is quite large in size almost we can say it is the largest part here it occupies almost 90 to 95% of the cell the inner environment of the cell due to which the other organelles are shifted towards the other side fine uh, so this vacuole is basically required for the storage of uh, uh, different material inside the cell as well as uh, it is also helping in the for process of osmoregulation that means it is helping in the maintenance of water level inside the cell right uh, then the important structure in the cell is the centrally located nucleus now definitely mind one thing here if the size of vacuole is large the position of uh, nucleus is not center uh, it is not in the center always fine it is going to be shifted towards the side because this uh, uh, turgid uh, organelle it will push it towards that side yeah one important thing i would say that the central vacuole is the dead organelle fine uh, now nucleus they are having the different parts now it depends uh, on the diagram that how it has been presented fine uh, if the entire unit is asked over there and these cut sections are not shown then definitely you can label it simply as the nucleus else you need to label the uh, different parts like the nuclear membrane or the nucleolus or if chromatin is also shown you can label that also or if scattered mass is there then you can label that, uh, that as the nucleoplasm fine so this nucleus is known as the director of the cell and is the having the chromosomes which are the hereditary unit of the cell fine uh next is the cytoplasm the scattered mass present inside the membrane which is uh, present between the nuclear membrane and the plasma membrane so this is uh, this scattered mass is the cytoplasm and is uh, generally shown as the dotted structures in between you can see this scattered mass here uh these uh, dot like structures inside which is present all over the cell right inside this plasma membrane and the nuclear between the uh, plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane so that is what we call as the cytoplasm fine uh next is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum so uh, you can see these structures endoplasmic reticulum is the network of tubules which is extending from the nuclear membrane so we can say they are the extensions of the nuclear membrane only and uh, if the ribosomes are present over it it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum or if it is absent then it is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and of course it is very easy to identify fine uh, this uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum it is uh, required for the protein synthesis the most important function and smooth endoplasmic reticulum is required for the synthesis of lipid molecules and you know that uh, uh, protein and lipids they are the most important structural elements of uh, any uh, uh, any cell right uh, for example like each cell membrane is made up of protein and the lipids so these uh, components which are synthesized here 
they help in the membrane biogenesis likewise there are other pro uh, functions also fine uh, then the another structure that we need to label is the mitochondria so you can see that this small oval structure is present here right or you can even see that this uh, <coughs> this unit actually this uh, uh this uh, <coughs> it is not highlighted uh, in a very well manner here i can just show you uh, it is just by mistake we have to just extend this line here uh, it should be till here so this unit this one this oval structure this uh, structure is known as the mitochondria and mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell as it is a site of respiration and it is the site of uh, synthesis of energy rich molecules besides it is also the storehouse for the energy rich molecules you know which one is the energy rich molecule it is a atp fine so this is the basic uh, different parts of the plant cell and the different functions of it each uh, i have just mentioned the most important function but it does not mean at all that uh, uh, the other functions are not important so just uh, highlighting these particular parts now you must go through your text and just to study each and every function of the unit because in exams uh, the question can come in any way fine so this is about the plant cell and next we will come with some another part or with new session till then thank you so much have a nice day goodbye